I want to show you one of my absolute favorite airstrips to go visit in North Texas. It's called Cedar Mills, and we're flying on this beautiful sunrise morning. Got a little bit of weather we're going to try to dodge or make sure that it doesn't become a factor, but I want to show it to you. I've used footage of this airport in some of my other videos, and I feel like I get a lot of comments, people asking, hey, what's that interesting airport at, you know, so-and-so timestamp? So I just wanted to film the whole video. That way, instead of just telling you what it is, I can just link it to this video and say, hey, you look, just go, go check out the entire approach. It's called Cedar Mills. They've got a cool marina and an airstrip and a series of cabins and a restaurant. It's a really cool place. I grew up going there uh, on the lake. This airport is special to me, in, uh, not just from an aviation sense. And it's really cool because the runway is situated right on the water where if the wind is right, like it is this morning, you can do your entire approach right over the water, right over the boats, and like the lake stops and the airstrip starts like right there. It's super, super cool. So Cedar Mills runway uh, is seven and two five. So it's kind of an east-west runway. And so you usually have a crosswind at Cedar Mills. If you can, you really prefer to land to the west and take off to the east because it's slightly uphill if you're landing to the west, which helps with braking, slightly downhill if you're taking off the other direction so you get a better ground roll. And there's an obstacle, there's trees on the west side of the runway. And so when we're landing to the west, we don't have to mess with those obstacles. And if we're taking off to the east, we don't have to clear those obstacles on uh, takeoff. Because we have a 90 degree crosswind, either way we're going here, there's no prevailing wind saying, hey, we should really be landing a certain direction. Uh, that's what we're going to do this morning. Cedar Mills traffic, Skylane 916 Delta Fox, try entering 45 left downwind for runway 25 uh, at Cedar Mills. Man, beautiful morning. Got a little weather around us, but nothing, okay, traffic, uh, nothing uh, threatening to us here. Echo. Probably should have put a uh, camera on that side so you could see. Here's what the runway looks like. Charlie Cam. So it's cool. This um, little peninsula out here is a is a really nice waypoint for your base turn. You go as far as you want, but it's a good one. A pre-landing checklist is complete. Our base turn. Cedar Mills traffic, Skylane 916 Delta Foxtrot, turning left base, runway 25, Cedar Mills. Picking up some ground speed here in the base. Woo! Cedar Mills traffic, Skylane 916 Delta Foxtrot, final runway 25, Cedar Mills. Okay, when we get down there, that big tree is gonna feel like it's in the way, but it's not. Kind of iconic. We got 3,000 feet, so it's longer than it looks. All right, guys, you be the judge. Try to land with that left wheel first. It's always interesting to see what the wind does once you get below the tree line. I'm not making any promises. Oh. I usually pride myself in pretty good landings. And that was not one of them. But I'm gonna post this anyway. Authenticity. Man, once we got below that tree line, the wind just got real choppy, and I don't think I left enough power in it to kind of do a power on landing there, given the squirreliness of the wind. So, notes for next time. Giving it just a little juice of power there at the end would have fixed that, but that's okay. I think I want to institute a prop score. You know, you give someone a good landing, hey, props for a good landing. Maybe we'll do that out of five. I'd give myself two out of five props on that one. Not very good, not my best. All right, let's clean up and show you the departure out of here. It's pretty fun going towards the lake. And then we're gonna go back to Addison and fly into the Class B. We'll see if we get a uh, clearance into it or we need to stay under it. It's always a little fun going back into Addison because it's busy. So let's get cleaned up here and we'll depart. Cedar Mills traffic, Skylane 916 Delta Fox drive departing runway seven off Cedar Mills. Okay, here we go. Air speed's alive, 30, 40, 50. Oh, that's just pure fun, going over the water like this. <laughs> This is when you feel like you really just have a set of wings on. You're not just piloting an airplane, you're flying. Cedar Mills traffic, Skylane 916 Delta Fox Trot. Just departed runway seven. Uh, we're east of the field and uh, departing the pattern to the south, climbing through 1,200 Cedar Mills. 
before it gets busy and I forget, there's a really, really cool tool uh, that you can use to find airports just like Cedar Mills. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting my thumb backwards like that because it's now behind us. And after we land, I want to tell you about it. It is awesome. Okay, we've got information kilo for Addison and they said to contact departure on 124.25. So we'll wait till a little, we're a little bit closer. All right, we're gonna contact approach. Remember, it's just who you are, where you are, and what you wanna do. So this instance, you know, you can tell them where you are in relation to a VOR or whatnot. Since we're like directly north of Addison, I'm just gonna tell them we're 35 north of Addison at 2,500 with information kilo. Approach Skylane 916 Delta Foxtrot. Skylane 916 Delta Foxtrot approach. Six Delta Foxtrot, we're 35 miles north of Addison with information kilo at 2,500 inbound. 916 Delta Foxtrot approach, squawk 4662. 4662, 916 Delta Foxtrot. Probably don't have to say inbound. 916 Delta Foxtrot, I'll uh, ID it here in about six miles. 6 Delta Foxtrot. 916 Delta Foxtrot, radar contact, 32 miles north of Addison, Elton Gates, 2500, verify information, Kilo. That checks, we do have Kilo, 6 Delta Foxtrot. Okay, I've got the runway. 6 Delta Foxtrot, contact Addison, Tower 126.0, have a good day. Tower, good morning, 6 Delta Foxtrot. Tower Skylane 916 Delta Foxtrot, 8 miles to the north, 2500. Skylane 916 Delta Foxtrot, Addison Tower, Romeo 16, continue, traffic may be holding position prior to route. 16, continue, and uh, can we start down, 6 Delta Foxtrot? Number 6 Delta Foxtrot, begin descent. Beginning descent, 6 Delta Foxtrot. Sometimes they want to keep you up here for departures or other reasons. Right. Number 6 Delta Foxtrot, Romeo 16, clear to land, traffic, Embraer, departing. 16, clear to land, 916 Delta Foxtrot. All right, guys, let's see if I can get a better prop score on this landing. I set the bar pretty low for myself last time, so <laughs> we'll see. A little bit of a crosswind up here. The wind feels better close to the ground. Number six, Delta Fox, trot, turn left, golf, give way to the northbound Skyhawk, then tax fast, hold on, contact ground point six, have a good one. Left here, golf, give way to the 172, and then uh, cross hold short lines, 0.6, 6 Delta Foxtrot. I don't know, that one felt a little better. I think I'd give that a four out of five props. What do you guys think? Okay, let's contact ground, then I want to share that resource with you. Ground, Skylane 916 Delta Foxtrot at golf, going to Romeo. 916 Delta Foxtrot, add us to ground, text to Romeo via Alpha, good day. Romeo via Alpha, good day, 6 Delta Foxtrot. All right, in the video on the screen, I'm gonna share with you the resource so you can find awesome airstrips just like Cedar Mills. Super cool, it's free, and I'm gonna show it to you right now.